Hi everyone, Sydney Sun to another exciting edition of the home game. And you know what? I've been waiting for this day. I have. I was waiting for the price to come down. It did. And you know what? We're if I could get the right there. We're getting ready to play Blanco! <laughs> From Buffalo to Tonka. And you know what? I'm very excited about this. It's supposed to be one of the most accurate Plinko boards of all time. It has all the lights and the whistles. I'm eagerly waiting to crack this baby open, play with it, and enjoy it. Well, let's break this new game open and show you what we're talking about. Well, here we are. I'm really excited about this, and I hope everybody's having a good time. We're about to have a good time. It is Plinko. Play the Price is Right's most popular game at home. This is from Buffalo. Tatanka. And they usually do a lot of uh, board of not board games, but puzzles. They're mainly a puzzle manufacturer. Like I was when I picked this up, I was on a date with a wonderful person, and they collect puzzles, uh, mainly Buffalo ones and. They're a really good puzzle manufacturer. So what we gotta do is just reveal, undo the tape on this. Oh, thank you. There it goes, that's one. And I do the other one. Oops. All right, there it goes. Uh, hold on. Yeah, we're done like this. And it slides out like so. The other box, the other box, to hold it in place, um, isn't felt fell under the table, but that box probably has nothing to do with the design of the thing itself. Nope. Probably to hold the stuff in place so that it will. Oh, drop the plinko chips. Are those actual metal Plinko chips? Yeah, they're metal pl Plinko chips. Nice. Here, I'll... we can pull everything up because we're going to be building this. Right. So, um, when we come back, um, we'll... No, 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 we're going to do this live. Yes. But I'll show you what the Plinko chips look like. They look like washers. Now, there are some complaints about the uh, discs that they're too small and that they bounce off. But we'll talk about that later. Now, there's, here are the instructions. Assemble the Mangor alignment house board. Yeah, I could see how it can. Um, I could see how it can um, have the stuff fall out because it doesn't have a front on it. Yep. So it's like the old school Plinko board. So what would happen is uh, here's the three AA batteries. Save that for later. Mm -hmm. We're gonna save that for later. But we're going to turn this around and show you the back of this. And we're going to take these, which are the sides of the board. And these would go like so. Like, they would go like this. And the other board 
would fit in the other on top of the other screws. Yep. Which makes me then wonder. I was gonna say I was about to think about to be thinking like, do we need to screw these in? No, these come with washers. And I think they fell out. I, I think they, yeah, they were the, um, they either fell out or they're still in the box somewhere. They're in here. No. We need that part anyway. Here they are right here. See, this is all live, folks. So what you do is you take these washers and just hook them in and just tighten them up. Here. Here, you take four, I take three, so that we can each do our side. Yep. By the way, thank you for doing one for me. Mm -hmm. To demonstrate to the camera about how this works. But yeah, this thing is huge. And then what we have are these. This, I believe, is for... As we go back to the instructions, we're doing this live, folks. Insert the long wooden base with the slots facing down to the short side of the support pieces as shown in the image. I believe something like this. Uh, yeah. Here, it would be like this. Mm-hmm. And we do the same thing for this. Other side. Oh, other side? No, like, like the one I have. Because I tried to fit it on the front side and it didn't fit. So. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we turn it like this. And we're going to pull out. Turn this board around. Um, flip it around because I think that these go inside those slots. Yep. And... Yeah, I see the slots for those. Mm -hmm. And I think this... Mm -hmm. There's still the... They need to have like something hold this middle piece here. Right here. Because what this will do this middle piece right here in the back it will slip down here and fit in the back like so whatever's fitting in the back is pushing the back piece out more which is fine no, um, I'm talking about this piece right here. Oh. I can see the reason why people are thinking like it's falling out because that middle piece might be pushing the Plinko chips out. I see. There we go. There we go. Now it's a little flatter. Mm -hmm. Now, it's now we can pull out. Okay, so. So this is what the board looks like. 
forgive us for any people who have motion sickness. Yep. But what we didn't do is put the batteries in. So we're going to freeze. And um, we'll put the batteries in, which is just a simple screwdriver, three AA batteries, and we'll be on our way. So we'll break right now. Well, we got the batteries in. Well, we got the batteries in, the board's all straightened up, and we're ready to turn this baby on. Look at that. That's amazing. Now shut it off so we don't get hit with copyright. <laughs> no, it's perfectly okay. Are you really sure? That's why. They actually made it with copyright in mind. Oh dear. <laughs> So normally what would happen is you take a, a pricing card, like the one Garrett's going to show you right now. It comes with uh, quite a few of them. These are the ones I specifically grabbed because it has Plinko on it. But and the... what you're supposed to do is do a Contestant's Row card. Which, the, which Contestant's Row is on the back of some, but there are a bunch more for other games. And you would play one of those pricing games to earn one of the Plinko chips. But nobody cares, let's be honest. It's nice to have for completionist's sake. Yeah. But mainly what people buy this game for is to do this. $500. It's a nice little sound effect. So I got $500. Hey, the game's not over yet, stop. So as I stand up, and the thing is, sometimes that these Plinko chips, and they're nicely designed, what they're supposed to do is hit a little uh, button down here. So I'll do it again. And yes, if you hit zero, you get. And it plays on and on and on like this. But when it comes to the dimensions of Plinko, this is about as accurate as you're going to get. Now, I've heard some people say that the Plinko chips will bounce off. And with the way this board is designed, that is the case. There are videos showing this. So, what people have suggested is get a half dollar. A half dollar like so. and just put it on the Plinko board like so. But I love the design of this, and some people have modified this to where these aren't just the only blinking lights, there's more flash to it, like the actual show. But what I want to try to do is, I want that 10,000, damn it. And I'm going to keep on trying until I get it. Yeah, they could have, to be fair, they probably could have done a better job with the 10,000 with the $10,000 wind sound effect. Honestly. Yeah. But then again, it's hard to do real digitized audio with the same kind of audio technology that they've been using since the 70s. I meant board game wise, not actual show wise. But this is Plinko. Is it $40 when it originally came out worth? 
Mm, maybe. $30 worth now at Target? Yes. So this is the most absolute perfect Plinko you can play. And just the sound. Ah! See? See it falling off? You're not going to have that with a half dollar now, are you? Yeah, again, it is the um, center line to the people to the people at home. You can actually see the shadow of it. Yeah. It's hard to get it to perfectly line up. So what I've seen some people do is have other brackets to line this up perfectly. That's why I said it's worth it for 40 but not 30 30 but not 40 30 but not 40 For $40 it is that, but for $30 it's this. I'm still not a fan of that sound effect. But I want to thank everybody for watching. If only the sound effect played. There you go. Okay. But yeah, this is very fun. I want to thank everybody for watching. Uh, be sure to like this video. Once again, comment on what other home games you want to see featured on this channel. Uh, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And once again, this is your Patreon money at work, people. It goes to fun, great home games like this and various other things we talk about on Game Show Gumbo, whether it be uh, current happenings in game shows to help pay for the cable bill and all that other fun stuff. So once again, thank you for watching. Go to patreon.com slash gameshowgumbo to help support the channel even more. And I tell you right now, the Patreon's not a fail. And I thank you next... And I thank you for watching and help control the pet population. Have your pets spayed or neutered. Goodbye, everybody.